Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we're going to be looking at how you can add Tailwind to a React Native project. Now it's quite a simple um, flow to this, so this video will be quite quick. Um, but I just want to show you how you can use this uh, package that I'm going to recommend um, and get started with making your, your project to use it. Okay, so to do this we're going to first create a brand new project um, with Expo. So we'll call Expo init and we'll just call this uh, React Native Tailwind. I can spell and let that run. Um, so we're going to use just a blank TypeScript project for this. So you can see over here um, the project is already being built so it's just installing the dependencies that we need which can take a little bit of time. There we go so what we can do if we want to is uh, run this project. So what we need to do is first go into our directory so just copy this to save some time and then say I want to run this on iOS I can just run yarn iOS and that will open up a simulator that I can start using right away. Now to do this you need to make sure you have Xcode installed um, but there's a whole uh, you know, documentation on how to get started using Expo and that goes through everything that you need. Um, so that's using the Expo CLI as well. Um, but this here will show us uh, once this opens, so in a minute it should open up a simulator so we can actually see uh, the you know, blank project. But whilst that's doing that we're going to go ahead and find the package that we're going to use. Now the one we're going to use here is called uh, Tailwind RN, so React Native, and all we need to do is just go ahead and run this command here, but I'm actually going to do it with yarn instead. And what this will let us do, so Tailwind is based around class names, so when you use it normally you can just you know, add classes as you, as you usually would, but because of the way things are slightly different in React Native, we put it in here as a style, in a style object, passing the Tailwind function here, and then put in our classes. And there's a few that we can't use, so down here, I'll put a link to this in the description, um, and there's a few parts here that don't you know, migrate fully across, um, but for the most part, it's you know, exactly what we need. So here we can see the simulator is opening up. Uh, I'll come back when that's ready. Okay, so we can see here, this happens sometimes actually when you're running this uh, with a new project that is timed out. So if I just cancel that command and run it again, it should be much quicker, because we've already got the simulator up here. Um, so you can see here it's opening up. Okay, so this is all I wanted to show. So this is this part here. And now if we go over here, we're just going to quit this so I can just run it all in the same place. And we're going to say yarn add tailwind rn. So we go, it's going to install the package we want to use. Okay, and this is the, the import we're going to use. So if we go into our app.tsx uh, just here, we're going to import the package. And then all we need to do here, so where we have this styles, we don't need the style sheet anymore. We don't need this anymore. So it saves a fair bit of code like that. And then in here, all we call instead is Tailwind. Here we can put in the, the classes that we want to use. So it could be you know, blue background, text, red, 300 on bold and then if we run this project now oh, so we run again now once you've actually got this running I'm sure you um, have used this before whenever you make changes within Expo like in here if I change these class names it will automatically refresh for having to run through the whole um, build process again so if I go here and shake reload okay we can see that this is here what if we try just text red Okay, so that's an unsupported class. So that's the other thing that's actually quite useful with, with Tailwind here. It would tell us, because not all of the classes that you would usually use in Tailwind on the web are supported, it would actually tell us down here at build time and directly on the text component instead. So we'll take these away. You can see actually there is our text at the top. Um, so if I was to say, items center to justify center there we go so you can use tailwind um, for the most part as you normally would in react native which gives a nice um, you know common theme through any components you might have in a you know a normal react project that you want to bring across to react native 
using this can help you, you know, keep as much of that the same. So where normally we'd just have this as, you know, class name, and just pass this in directly. It's not exactly the same, but just by changing this, you know, to style tailwind, it brings that consistency over and it's a lot easier to work with. But yes, that's all I've got um, on this for this video. If you've got any questions on getting started with this or any other um, Tailwind packages you've seen for React Native that could be better than this, you know, that maybe uses um, you know less changes and supports more class names, please do let me know. Um, I'm always looking to try out um, you know packages that could be better. Um, but I'll put a link to this in the description. Um, you know, because if I even if I copy, say this here, so we can see how this looks. Some more examples. save that you can see you know, there's a lot more you can do with this rather than having to worry about the actual style sheet in, in React Native which can get you know quite quite uh, extreme and you've got to you know add this in different places um, so this is quite useful um, to use straight away in your projects so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video